Hey guys, it's me, Christina, and it's a fragment fray from my iPhone. Yeah. So my fragment fray is going to be on the very on the first um Morganville Vampires book Glass Houses. Just lost my page. Um, um, by Rachel Kane. This is the bind up, um, volume one, um, which includes Glass Houses and the Dead Girls Dance. I've been wanting to read this series for a very long time and I'm really enjoying it. I'm only on page 42 of the first book and I'm going to be on chapter 5 and you guys are going to be listening with me. Okay, so this is, um, you're just gonna have to, I'm starting for, <laughs> from where I was. She pointed the plates on the counter, Shane's, hers, and Claire's, three plates. He knew something was up. We told him Michael wasn't around, no wonder he kept poking. Shane said nothing, but Claire could see see he was, if possible, even more upset. He didn't show it much, but he picked up his plate and walked away out into the living room, then up the two steps at a time. His upstairs door slammed. Eve bit her lip, watch, watching after him. So, Shane and Monica, Claire guessed, Eve kept staring at the doorway. Not like you're thinking, she said. He wouldn't touch that skink in a million years. But they were in high school together and Shane got on her bad side, just like you did. Claire's appetite for breakfast was suddenly gone. What happened? He said up to her in his house in his house burned. He nearly died, she said. His his sister wasn't so lucky. Michael got him out of town off on his own before he did something crazy. He's been gone a couple of years. He just came back before I moved in. E forced a bright smile. Let's eat, yeah. I'm starving. They sat in the living room, chatting about nothing, not talking about the thing that was most important, what to do, because Claire sensed neither of them had a clue. Chapter 5 <clears throat> Claire watched the clock, some old-style wall clock with hands crawl slowly up to past 11 o'clock. Professor Hams is during the lecture, she thought. I felt a nauseating twist in her stomach. This was the second day in a row she missed school. In her whole life, she never missed two days of school back to back. Sure, she read the textbook already twice, but the lectures were important. That was how you found out the good stuff, especially in class, like physics, where they did practical demonstrations. Lectures were the fun part. It was Thursday. That meant that she had a lab class later, too. You couldn't make up a lab class, no matter how good your excuse. She sighed, forced herself to look away from the time and open her Calc 2 book. She tested out of Calc 1, could have tested out of Calc 2, but she thought, she thought maybe she might learn something new about solving linear e equalities. Which she, which had always been a problem for her. What the hell are you doing, Shane? What the hell are you doing, Shane? He was, he was, on the stairs staring at her. He, she hadn't heard him coming, but that was probably because he was barefoot. His hair was a mess because maybe he'd been asleep studying. She said, "Huh." He, he said like he'd never seen it before. Interesting. He vaulted over the railing three steps from the bottom and flopped down on the little bit of couch next to her, flicking the TV with, on with the remote next to him, then changing inputs. This is going to bother you. No, she said politely. It was a lie, but she wasn't quite ready to know, to be, you know, blunt. It was her first day. Great. Want to take a break? A break? That's when he stopped studying. <laughs> So that was my Friday on Glass Houses. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you 
guys next week. Bye.